Okay, so let's talk about the ending of All Out. This is one of those shows that, let me tell you, from the beginning, I was skeptical. I was worried. Were we actually going to get something that was done right? Was this going to feel like the games were fans that weren't really that in tune with Fallout be lost? I'm somebody who's pretty much a beginner with Fallout. I don't really know much about the games like that, but I know a basic understanding. And I also wondered if people who had no idea what Fallout was would be able to follow it. Now, in my spoiler-free review, which you can go check out if you want, I talked about that. I really enjoyed the TV show. I thought it was immersive. I thought the video game characters were really brought to the screen in a great way. And I thought that the actors did an amazing job at fleshing out these very touching and endearing stories. And at the same time, really balancing the comedy well. So let's talk about Fallout and its ending and where do we go from here. And we got a ton of Fallout content coming for you this weekend. If you want to be in the know of all of that from season two to Easter eggs and all that, make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell because we're also running a giveaway where we're going to be giving out away some pretty cool prize packages to two lucky winners. And that's going to be at 29,500 subscribers and at 30,000. So you don't want to miss out on that by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. And let's get into it. And all you have to do as well is be commenting down below whatever you think about the show and that gets you an entry. So Fallout takes place 219 years after the nuclear war of 2077, where we saw the United States be decimated. And also we saw that vaults were a thing now. These vaults were from vault this company that was sort of selling the end of the world as we here throughout the TV show. So our main character is Lucy McClan, who their father is actually the overseer, Hank McClan, played by Kyle McLaughlin, and Lucy is played by Ella Purnell. Ella, of course, coming from Yellow Jackets to this, it is just a great way to see this actress progress, and I'm excited to see what else they do in the future. Now, we see that during a whole event that happens in Lucy's Vault, Vault 33, that they're going to marry Lucy to somebody in Vault 32, and that's a whole thing that these vaults do. They marry one another, and then they have children and continue and continue forth until Reclamation Day is going to come. Reclamation Day is the day when they're going to come out of the vault, go to the surface, and repopulate again. Now, the vault dwellers believe nobody is out on the wasteland, that they everybody's in the vaults, and that's all that there is. No other human beings at all. So during this event, we see as Lucy's married off to this guy in Vault 32, and then what eventually happens is, hey, the people from Vault 32, that's not really them. This is actually some raiders, and we see that they are actually coming here to raid the vault. And then we see Lucy realizes the guy is just a raider as well, fights for her life, eventually coming out on top and we see as the raiders are slaughtering all of the vault dwellers and we find that the leader of this group Moldover is also taking Hank, who is Lucy's father. And now Lucy has to go on a mission to save her father. So this is pretty much where we see Lucy's story start off. She has this whole revenge she wants on the Raiders. He wants to take her father back before anything happens to them. Find out who exactly is Moldover. Now you have the ghoul as well here, who the ghoul is somebody who used to be known as Cooper. And they were back then in 2077, a movie TV star. They actually did commercials for vault as well. They were pretty well known across like in the United States. Cooper, however, now has become a ghoul and has been alive all these 200 plus years and probably because they're a ghoul, they're able to live this long as well. But Cooper is actually more of a bounty hunter as well now as a ghoul. And now Cooper is on a mission to get this scientist as they have a pretty large bounty on them. You also have the Brotherhood of Steel in which we follow a character named Maximus, who Maximus is trying to become a knight. They are a squire right now. And Maximus' dream is to be this knight for the Brotherhood of Steel because he sees the Brotherhood of Steel as these big like superheroes of sorts. They were there when Shady Sands where he lived got decimated and saved him. So he wants to be a part of this and save people as well. Eventually we see that their paths cross as Lucy Maximus and Cooper are all trying to get the scientist now. Lucy wants the scientist because they need to bring the scientist to Moldova in order to exchange for their dad. Maximus wants the scientist because the Brotherhood is after the scientist and so that would look good on Maximus to bring the scientist and Cooper is looking for answers about his wife and all of that and he knows that the secret is with Moldova as well as the scientist and that's why Cooper is after the scientist as well. Eventually however the scientist ends 
ends up dying. And the scientist tells Lucy, take my head. That's all you need to take it to Moldover to exchange for your dad. And Lucy and Maximus start to form this relationship as well. And eventually both of them come to this vault, Vault 4, where they find out that there has been some experiments going on in this vault. And they actually learn that the, all the vaults were actually used for experiments. And even Lucy's vault was an experiment vault as well. So what they end up finding out as well is that this vault that Lucy was in was sort of used as a breeding pool of sorts where they were taking the more desirable genetic subjects of vault tech employees into vault 31 and then the people of vault 32 and vault 33 were used to meet with them. So the vault tech employees from 2077 were kept alive, were cryogenically frozen, and they were kept here and they would be awoken in the future to take charge of the United States after the war ended and the radiation levels subsided enough for them to command the wasteland. But in these times, they would also be woken up, taken into vault 32 or 33. And that was there where they could mate and produce with the other people there and thus have their offspring. And so Lucy starts to find out all of this. And eventually when she gets to Moldover, Moldover explains, yeah, that is what happened in your dad as well was one of those Baltic employees back in 2077. And you're actually the offspring of this whole culmination. Your mother actually found this out early on. And that's the reason that Lucy's mother isn't with Lucy anymore, because she found this out. She decided to leave, take the children. And once she took the children, she found Shady Sands. She found Moldover. They they started a new happy life there but of course Hank who is Lucy's father found out about all of this and said no this is not how it's gonna go not what Baltic wants and they actually decimated Shady Sands and this is also the reason that Maximus is the way they are now without anything because Hank who is Lucy's father decided to destroy Shady Sands and now they were left with nothing. That's the whole thing right here. Now, as we are finding all of this out, we also learn that Lucy's mother turned into a ghoul after all of this as well. And that's the ghoul that we see when Lucy gets to where her father is with Moldover. Cooper also through flashbacks that he has, we find out that Cooper's wife, Barbara, also was ahead of doing all of this, of wanting Baltech to pretty much decimate the United States so that they could take over in the future and knew that all of this was coming and kept us from Cooper. And as we see his story progress more, we learn that Cooper and Moldova started to work together towards the end before the bombs went off, try and figure out how they can like stop all of this because Moldova's whole thing with the scientist was that Moldova in the past had figured out cold fusion in order to keep energy infinite and always powering things up. And so that's the whole thing that everybody's trying to get from the scientists because the scientists actually put the genetic code inside of them. So that's why they only needed the head. Eventually, when Lucy does bring this head to Moldova, Moldova is able to use the genetic code that's in there in order to get the fusion working. But they had to use Hank to put in the code because the Baltic employees had purchased it out and they were keeping it a secret as well. They wanted this to be used later on. And the Brotherhood of Steel wants this as well because they are very adamant about having this infinite power although they don't say why that's the case we do learn that that is what they want they want the cold fusion with Lucy's brother as well finding out the truth about vault 31 and going into it we learned that vault 31 was being used in order to keep these vault tech employees from 2077 frozen until the time came when they would be able to come up however we eventually see that Lucy's brother is going to have to be kept here apparently because now they know the truth and people can't know the truth until it's time to wake up and so that's where we see Lucy's brother's fate end. Lucy on the other hand is there with Moldova and they're explained everything that Hank has done but then the Brotherhood of Steel show up to try and take the cold fusion and we see an all-out war between Moldova's people and the Brotherhood of Steel. We see Maximus end up coming to try and save Lucy and we see as Hank takes his suit and puts it on and pretty much knocks out Maximus. Right before he's trying to take Lucy however Cooper shows up shoots Hank, remembers who Hank was, was his wife's assistant, tells Lucy all about this, and then Hank pissed off flies away. Cooper tells Lucy, either you're going to stay here and die from the Brotherhood of Steel, or we go get your father and see what's exactly going on. Who is at the top of the head of all of this? Let's figure that out. We eventually see Lucy does this right before she actually shoots her mother, who's a ghoul, in order to let her rest peacefully. Later on, we see as Maximus wakes up and he sees what the cold fusion can do right before Moldova dies, says that this is a necessary thing. And what exactly will the Brotherhood want to do? do with this it's going to be up to them as she dies next to 
Lucy's mother, who was a true love to them. But right before everything ends, we see that Hank, who is Lucy's father, shows up at a place, smiles, and we see that it is New Vegas. And New Vegas, of course, being a popular uh, game in the franchise, it seems that that might be exactly where the head honcho of everything is set up so we'll see what happens right there so pretty much at the end like i said we had lucy who at the beginning felt that the vault was the right way they thought that this was going to be the way for life to be and they eventually saw that life had been continuing and already so the vault dwellers were all lied to everybody in the vault thought that there was no life that the wasteland was empty nobody could live up there because radiation all of this but it turns out that yes people were living up here shady sands was a clear a uh, place that people lived and they was prospering and all of that. All tech and the overseers saw that as a sort of plot hole in their story they were giving to the vault dwellers. So that's why anytime anything rose up, they had to come in and destroy it because they were selling these people this idea. And if they knew that you could just live up here already and continue to prosper as humans do, then they wouldn't believe in vault tech anymore or whatever they sold them next. So that's what, so that was the reason that Hank, even though that was his wife and all of that, decided to destroy Shady Sands and pretty much keep everything a secret still. The new overseer Betty that Vault 33 has, where Lucy comes from, also was another Vault Tech employee that we see in, in Cooper's flashback. Now, the big question is, Cooper is looking for their family as they state that. We don't know exactly what happened to their wife or to their child. We just saw at the beginning of the first episode that they were there when the bombs dropped, and we see Cooper and his kid just go off on the back of a horse, but we don't see exactly what happens next. We just get flashbacks of everything leading up to that moment, and I'm guessing they're going to want to explore that more in season two it seems that cooper's wife was very adamant about this uh whole apocalypse as well and they also talk about having themselves just drop the bomb if nobody's going to do it because all tech is selling all of this making all of this money trillion dollar company how will they continue forward if nothing ever happens they would just go Kaput. So they decide that the best way possible is for them to just drop this bomb. Big question as well is how did Moldova survive? Because Moldova was actually at the time in 2077 with Cooper working together, but now they're here 200 plus years after. Did they themselves get frozen? Did they have a backup plan as well? We don't really see in the past what happened after the events of the bomb and all of that. We just get little glimpses of it as well as the lead up to it. So it's very interesting to see what that's going to be like. Now, the whole thing with New Vegas. New Vegas at this point apparently is a bit past its time according to the timeline that people say they have for the game as well. And so the questions you probably have about the ending is first and foremost, were the vaults good or not? What is vault Tech doing? Yes, people survived because of them, but no, they wanted to create a new world. They basically just wanted to do their own vision of what the world would look like. So they were pretty much being like these genetic type vibes to it and they also were wanting to use people as guinea pigs as they say let's see who can make the best experiments to save humanity may the best idea win and even barbara says it at a point by dropping the bomb of shelves we are guaranteeing this is going to happen and so vault pretty much is like the big bad big evil right here hank of course being part of vault him doing his own experiments as well that pretty much makes hank a evil despicable character in the end and moldover was some Somebody who was trying to put a stop to this from the beginning, getting Cooper and trying to find out exactly what vault was up to. And I think this is how they get the upper hand. And this is maybe a reason that Moldova got a way for them to be frozen and being able to come back, stop vault from doing all of this. And so Lucy's mother found out about this by asking those questions, wondering what was right, what was going on. And when she found these questions, that's why she had to leave Hank because of everything that Hank had caused. And so they wanted to get away from it. They went to Shady Sands and Shady Sands was a town that was prospering. It was doing good, as everybody says, until that bomb hit it again. And that was vault Tech because they controlled these bombs. They were able to drop a bomb and destroy it because they didn't want their vault dwellers that were underground right now to ever find out that this was a thing because that would definitely ruin all of these fake stories they were telling the vault dwellers like you are going to be the first humans in over 200 years to go up to the surface and resettle again that would have been bad for the vault tech company because they were just lying to everybody all this time if that were to come out cooper was a character who was out there just doing bounties and all of that because they were just 
trying to get by, whether they were looking for their family as well. They never really had an insight as to what exactly happened until Lucy came, until he heard her last name, McLean, and knew Hank, or otherwise known as Henry back in the day, was that character that worked for vault -Tec. And this is a reason that Cooper now knows that his family's still out there. If Hank's still alive, then his family for sure has to be alive. And that's why they're going out to find the answers of where are their family and who exactly is running all of this still. And I believe it could be Barbara, but I also have some other theories. I'm going to get into theories and all that for season two in another video, so stay tuned for that. But Cooper is trying to figure out all of these questions as well. And that's why him and Lucy go out to find Hank and track him because Cooper was able to get a tracker on Hank. Now, on the other hand, you have Maximus who was working with the Brotherhood of Steel all of this time. And it seemed like Maximus was going to break off from the Brotherhood of Steel. But at the end, when they find Maximus there, what Moldover did, everybody assumes that Maximus was the one that did this and they now sort of see him as a leader and now they have the cold fusion right there and they're probably going to want to use it to power themselves up and have this infinite power of swords does maximus turn evil here and just go with the brotherhood of steel and do all of this or is he going to try and find a way to get this cold fusion power to everybody so that the world can prosper again the other question is what happens to norm lucy's brother who's now stuck in vault 31 well of course, now we know that Bud, who worked for vault -Tec, is that brain that was there in Vault 31, and he's just overseeing that everybody there in the vault who are frozen stay good and frozen, and that's all the vault -Tec people from 2077 who are waiting to be revived again so that they can go and they can be with the other vault dwellers and reproduce and all of these things because that's what they were promised, and then they will go to the surface and rule over the world as they see it. Fit. That's pretty much what's happening right here, right now. It was a very interesting uh, twist because you just thought Hank was good this whole time, that he was just being taken by these Ravagers. Moldover, you thought was this despicable person when they, in fact they wanted the world to be saved and be built better. And they were just trying to get Hank because they needed the code because only vault -Tec employees had this code to work the cold fusion. And so that's what we saw was the reason they were taken. And they were in love with Lucy's mother as well because Lucy's mother had come to Shady Sands after she found the despicable things that Baltic was doing. But of course, Baltic was not going to let that just go. So that's where we are right now. And they have just found New Vegas. So we'll talk about New Vegas, which is this other thing in the video games in my theories, because that's going to go more into theories and what's coming next. But yeah, Lucy found that harsh truth. The vaults were just used for experiments. Her father was an evil overseer who worked for vault -Tec, who just nuked a whole town because they were pissed that the truth was going to come out. And eventually that led to their mother's death. Cooper was an actor who eventually became a ghoul and is now looking for their family. And Hank is that key to where their family is. And Maximus is now a Brotherhood of Steel leader of sorts and it's going to be interesting to see where he goes. Season two hasn't been greenlit, but it looks like Amazon's already trying to start shooting in California pretty soon. So we'll see when they announce that. But we'll talk theories in the next video. So make sure you're subscribed and notification bell on. And if you want to join the giveaway, make sure you comment and be subscribed as well. And we will announce a winner once we get to our goal. But anyways, as always, that's going to do it for me. Let me know what you thought about Fallout, what you thought about the ending and all of that. And if you're excited for season two or not. And as always, that's going to do it for me. I'll see all of you next time. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment, follow us wherever you can on our social media, on Instagram and Twitter and all of that. And I'll see you all next time. Stay safe, stay positive.